Hmm. Hmm. Aha. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, everybody. I am the great and powerful Cheese Fry, and thank you for tuning in to the Phoenix Feather Card Game Channel. Uh, I'm about a week late, but, uh, you know, shipping takes time and stuff. I'm still waiting on stuff from 50 cards. This was from Kozaguru. Um, my first box of Genesis of the Five Greats. I don't think I've got one coming in from 50 cards. Got decks coming in from 50 cards. I am going to do an opening of those, but in a different way. And I'm excited to show you guys what I'm planning on that. But we're going to go ahead and get started opening this. So there are new ride lines. I'm really hoping for Barrow, Zor uh, Orphist, and Zorga, but especially Zorga, Barrow Magnus. And then stuff for Bruce. I didn't think I'd like Bruce, but I've been playing around with some, um, from, with some decks that I bought. Uh, from my LGS, which uh, kind of sucks. They they said they couldn't get them in and charge MSRP, so I had to pay eight dollars with them, which was down from ten, and they only gave me that because I was getting so much. Um, like I was getting all five, and then also um, like a couple of sneak peek kits, which is how I got this. I didn't actually buy the whole kit. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. The whole the whole thing was just weird. All right, we're we're not wasting any time, are we? Oh, that's that let's play brain. That's my let's play brain just going. All right, so if I remember correctly, these are the Tomari style sleeves for the um, for the ride deck. I don't know if I'll use them, but I did recently get some. Oh, where I have cards all over the place right now. Hold on. Um, I ordered some. Uh, secondhand sleeves uh, of the original style. So I got these in the blue, in the white with the purple, and then I've also got the silver or the black and silver for my ride deck, and they're just split. So, but uh, I was kind of hoping for these because I really like this color, and I was also hoping for the ones the the uh, oh my gosh. Uh, uh, I forget, uh, not Zakuza style, but the other, this guy, I forget his name, um, his style sleeves, because he, I think he's the one that plays Zorga, so, but the, uh, also the promo over trigger, it will remain sealed forever, I have, I will have enough copies of Olbaria, trust me, we'll be good, but that's not what we're here for, we don't care about box toppers, we care about box contents, 16 individually wrapped packets of goodness oh I can't wait I cannot wait all right we're just gonna shuffle them together right shuffle them together nice and easy so that we're all surprised by what comes right I don't think I've seen anybody shuffle their packs should I be doing it I don't think it matters but we're gonna do it anyway all right, and because I'm not a heretic, I'm going to go grab scissors. Or maybe because I am a heretic. It is definitely because I am a heretic. Here we go. First pack. Man, I am so excited about Overdress. You guys don't even understand. I played from Asia Circuit all the way through Legion Mate. And then I stopped playing... Uh, a lot when G came out and then uh, after that um, I just I bought into V and the, at the first couple sets didn't really enjoy it so but I've played a few games of, of overdress now and oh my god this is the best Vanguard has ever been all right divine sister stuff so that is hexa orb support down swing I think I use this I'm not sure. Uh, I'm actually going to separate it by nation by rarity. Did I? I hope that's from the box and not from cards. You see all that right there? I hope that's from the box and not from the cards. <laughs> uh oh. 
I don't think I got the top of the cards. Okay, here we go. All right, sealed path. So choose one of your va opponent's vanguards, and it gets critical minus one. I like that they're doing more stuff to fuck with critical. I really like that, because that's something that really needs to be done more often, I think. All right, get that cleared. Which is why I, I saw the uh, reveal of the V or the um, the heal guardians. And oh, I didn't understand them at first. And then I watched a couple of videos. And I'm like, oh, now I really want to play premium. Uncanny Burning, he's the starter for Barrow. So we're already off to a good start. Burn Bright Pure Prayers, which is great. Because I also, I want to play everything. Like this is the first time ever that I've wanted to play everything. I love it. So burn bright, pure prayers, plan or prevent dragons. So that's the good PG for Stoikea. I like that. And oh, Cardinal Fang Fulvi. So that is the starter for Orphist in the hollow. I really like that. I got the hollow starter. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, we take those. We take those. All right, next pack. All right, so uh, like I said, I've been I will really want to build everything, but my priority is Barrel Magnus, Bruce, uh, Orphist, and um, if I can afford, I'd actually really like to play Bastion. In the darkness, nobody knows. So that's our Grade Three world for Orphist. I like that. Jabba Tail, which apparently is going to get completely replaced when you get, um, or when uh, BTO2 comes out, which is fine, I guess. But Jabba Tail, apparently, I've heard very good in uh, uh, Orphist, so I will, I'll take it. We take those. Deep Soniker, so it's the grade one for the Barrel Magnus ride line. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. Another hopeful testity. I say another. I haven't pulled one out of this, but I got like three of these from my preview kits. And I just had two sets uh, of Cardinal Fang. So that's the draw, the draw for Orphist, which is over here. Uh, Dark Strain Dragon. Yes, I like it. I like it because uh, I don't know if it's good in uh, Bastion. I don't know if anyone plays it in Bastion. I'm going to play it in Bastion. So screw y'all. Yes, Marjorie. Marjorie, so good in Bruce. So stupidly good in Bruce. I love it. I still don't know how to use her the right way, but I love it. I love Marjorie, and I love Protobulb. I just don't know how to use him properly yet. But I will. I will. Um. <sighs> What's scary is... Uh, um, Spring Fest is only a couple weeks away. And I, uh, I don't know what to do. Stealth Dragon Gen Goku. Uh, so that is the front trigger. Ah, uh, yes. I need more. I need more Flinty Slashers. 100%. 8 crit gang. Can't wait till I can run 12 crit. Or I'm sorry. Uh, 11 crit because of the over trigger now. So that's Dark States. Useful Recharger. I have not built Orphis yet. So I'll, uh, but apparently really good. Apparently Orphis gets like totally shook up. All right. See, look, look, look at the 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 virgin common fovey next to the Chad hollow fovey. Yeah, yeah. You know which one I'ma play. You know. All right. So then we get lightning emergency barrier deployment. Okay. So the first time I saw this card revealed, I forget who I was watching. I think it was. I. Th think it was different fight and he was like don't look too closely and or or you'll see it and then i watched someone else's video and they're like hey look it's among us i, was, I see it now but that's not what i saw had to cut there minor uh minor um interruption words but here we go lightning barrier Oh, yes, good. Okay. Like I said, I want to play Bastion. So getting Aegis Mare Dragon, which is just actually a Pegasus, it looks like, now that I'm looking at it up close. That's not a dragon. That's a Pegasus. Sorry. 
I don't care. It looks too much like a horse. And then, Painkiller Angel. Oof. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. Card draw, always good. Card draw, always good. All right. Here we go. I'm actually going to start doing them two at a time. Because, uh, I don't know, I get bored watching watching um, pack openings. Like, I put them on in the background, so I'm going to open them two at a time. Huckle Hustle, so front row. I actually really like how she looks. Causality goes crazy as I will it. I love these card names. I love the order names. They're just so ridiculous. Oh, they're just so silly. Uh, Cardinal Draco. So, very good. Uh, because I'm not playing Prison, but playing Orphus, I need all the crits I can get. Uh, Circling Sorceress. I don't know if I'm going to use her, or if I'm going to use the Structure Deck heal when I play Bastion. I haven't decided yet. Uh, another Burn Bright. So I think that gives me a total of three. And then I got the Twin Buckler Dragon. Fuck yeah, dude. Yes! Ooh, that was a good pack. Ooh, that was a good perk. Oh, yeah, that was a good perk. Oh, yeah. Get that Eden. Get that Eden. Eden, good boy. Eden's such a good boy. Mmm. All right. So that was uh, one triple R. So I think that's the only triple R I've pulled so far. I don't know what the ratios are. Oh, yes. Got that ghost chase. Good for the Zorga. Uh, all right. So another crit. Another draw. Wrong pile. Vital lever. Not going to play draws, but whatever. Okay, so this is the grade two for the Eugene ride line. Not going to play Eugene. I'm so sorry. I say I want to play everything. I am excluding Eugene in that. And and Seraph Snow. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'll play Seraph Snow. Uh, or Hexa Orb. I'm not really interested in those. Although, Hexa Orb... I don't know. Maybe it's that I don't know enough about Hexa Orb. But we got Tartine which I love that it's like still keeping on with the um, uh, named after desserts just a little bit. Uh, what was my, oh, this is, uh, wait. Oh my God, everything's just so messed up right now. Okay, there we go, there we go. Uh, and then, oh, oh my God. Holy shit. An SP shovel stud. Oh, that is sick. I really like that. Again, not gonna play the deck that this goes in. Whoa. Just whoa, dude. Oh, that's an SP. That's not going anywhere without getting sleeved. Oh, look at that. Oh, baby, baby. I like that. I don't know how well it's coming up on camera. My camera is like three feet in the air right now, so I can't even check. But, oh, look at that. I really like that. He's going in a separate pile. He's right there. All right. See, it's all about doing it that two, a, two at a time. Is it the, uh, was it the uh, 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 OVR? What was it? Is it called an OVR? I forget. The, the overdress rare. Where it's like the um, completely alternate art or something. I don't know what it is. But, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't Trickstar, but Shovel Stud, though. Shovel Stud. Uh, all right, Sunlight Punishment. Shigama... Uh, Shima, sh Shigama Nago. Sh Shigama Nago. I don't know what she do. I will read that later. Uh, Simone, also good for... I think she's just good. I think Simone's just good, because she only requires five cards in Soul. So I think she's just good. Got the Ranker Chain for the Zorga Ride line. Very nice, very nice. The Tear Square Sorceress, which is, uh, I guess, the, um, what you call it? Fucking Hexa Orb Ride line. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know why I keep wanting to set stuff on top of the Keter Sanctuary stack. Divine Sister. Okay, I love this art style, though. I love that art style, because it's witches. I just love it. And then Inheritance Maiden Tendrina. I think she's one of those that's... Uh, okay, no, she is specifically Zorga support. I see Al I see the word Alka Magic. All right. Not bad, not bad. And oh, I have the second pack from that set as well. Still going. 
still to go. All right. So crit, draw the trigger, dark pilgrimage. Oh God, I love how grotesque this is. That's a mouth. Has anyone noticed that? That's a mouth. That's gross. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. 10K booster. I don't like it. Shadow army token. Very nice. Uh, another Fovel. Fovey. Uh, if anyone wants common Fovies. <laughs> An uncanny burning. Okay. Okay. Another one of those. Spiritual body condensation. Good shit. <gasps> you got this. Mm, good shit. Good shit right there. Right there. All right. Got the Zorga. That was a Zorga pack. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Moving forward. We can't we can't rest on our laurels. Can't rest on our commander laurels for too long, guys. Alright, so here we go. This is like the speediest. Okay, how do you say this? Veloca hazard? Velosa hazard. Oh my god, because it's a Velociraptor. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Okay, no, we got it. We got it. We figured we figured it out. So Extremis Dragon, Velosa Hazard. So that's your 10k boost for uh, the Empire. Divine Sister Lepisto. Uh, Tearful Malice. Play this by retire with retire two rear guards. But draw a card. Put this card into Soul. Soul Charge one. Man, could you imagine if Dark States had a card that did that? Whereas like this card and then Soul Charge one. Oh, that'd be stupid. That's, I think, what is that? Okay, so that is the uh, starter for um, fucking Hexa Orb. Uh, the heal trigger for Orphist. Very good, very good. Try Bash. This is the one that gives you extra critical, isn't it? Yeah, when your Vanguard attacks, if you have two or more, if they have two or less rear guards, put this unit into Soul, choose a Vanguard, it gets critical plus one. I want to try this card out. I don't know how good it is, but I want to try it. And look at that. Speaking of Hexa Orb, I'm getting like, okay, okay. Definitely Magus uh, vibes coming from Hexa Orb's design. I think that was intended because they're like, yes, we're going to explore some of the same space, uh, like uh, aesthetically, but uh, in a new way. So I like it. All right, we got Uverit, which I fucking love the steampunk look of, of Gear Chronicle. I just never really jived well with their play style. That selfish engraver, I think that gives me three now. So almost enough. Fanuel, so this is, if you have three or more grade three units, this unit gets critical plus one. Dang, too bad it costs Counterblast two. That actually is kind of expensive. That's kind of expensive to have CB2. Okay. Okay. So that is the um, the Zorga starter. So I think... <coughs> I think I've got the whole ride deck now for Zorga. I think. Phantasma Dragon. Uh, Magician Curtis Dragon. Oh my god. I had uh, Black Tear Dragon in on the brain. So I got Curtis, which is uh, Barrow Support. Will I pull a barrow, I wonder? So Big Snake Witch Solaria. And a uh, hollow front trigger. Eh. 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 I just realized I haven't pulled the over trigger from this from this box yet. I wonder what. I really am hoping that I get um Galmaga held, or however you're supposed to pronounce it. The um Dark States one, but I'll be okay with the Storkea one as well. That's a Bless Favor, I think. I'll be okay with Bless Favor, but I... Um, actually, I'll be happy with Bless... I'll be happy with any of them, if I'm being honest. I already have an Armata, an Armata Noah, so... But we'll see. We'll see. We have some time. Uh, causality. Grudgeful Hatchet. So that is the front trigger for Storkea. Uh... Draw trigger. Megan, which is just that is just straight up beast tamers. That's just straight up silver thorn right there. 
Uh huh. Pentagleam, Sorcerer. So now I, I pulled the entire Hexa or Bride deck uh, in this one, I think. Recusal Hate. All right. Okay. And a Hollow Aegis Mare. Whoa. That. See, so this actually gives me a perfect opportunity to show you. I have never, ever liked the foiling on rares, on R's. I've always loved the double R foiling more. So having Aegis Mare Dragon and Recusal Hate in the same pack lets me show you, like, just why. Actually, I have a rare Aegis Mare as well. Maybe I'll show it after I'm done opening. But, oh, I like that a lot, getting the, the hollow Aegis Mare instead of getting the, uh, the rare. But, hey, Recusal Hate Dragon, I like it. Who knows? I think... Have people been getting at least one of each of the uh, of the good PGs? Because I know that's my second Aegis Mare, but I think that's my fourth overall. Well, third and fourth. All right, we got Rotus for the uh, Orphist Ride line. We got Taxis, which I like. I like this design. Honestly, I know for a fact I'll run Taxis over the uh, the. Uh, front trigger that came with the Bastion start deck because I just like this design way better. He is, I'm pretty sure it's a he. Pretty sure it's a he. Um, he just looks way better. Oh yes, and I think I'll run the, the baby dragon heel trigger as well if in my, uh, I know people want to call it Virena, or uh, Nirvana, but it's Virena. We all know it, Virena is the main card. That's your win con, Nirvana is just there. All right, uh, another sealed path for the Alchemagic Magic. Another Fanuel that I'm probably not going to play. All right, Polar Cold Monster Drumler for Brant Gate. So this would be... No, this is just a support grade two for Orphist. That's right, okay. And then, oof, baby, baby. Ooh, that's my second Valiente. Damn, I'm getting stonks in this box. I love it absolute mad lads in this box i'm digging it every minute we're gonna cut across i'm telling you it's the two it's the two pack per per open and we're actually going to end off on uh being able to focus on one pack i know we already got our sp and shovel stud but you know i'm okay i'm okay this is it's all good it's overdress man it's all good oh I pulled two cards there. Shiga Managu. Pulled two stars <laughs> again. Hado Shugen. Uh, Exalting Knight Ifrid. I thought this one was the... Was this the structure deck draw? Is this the trial deck draw? I'm telling you. I swear that's the trial deck draw. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Tartarus Beat Scram. Okay. I tried this one. I didn't like it. I don't know if it's any good, but I didn't like it. Maybe I'm just too too offensive myself. All right, the vol the violate dragon. Oh, oh boy! And then a ten shusted. All right, get your money. I'm digging it. I'm liking this box a lot. Oh, I'm loving this. Already with the good commons, right off the bat with the Adamantis. <clears throat> Only one Adamantis, this box, I realize. I've not gotten a lot of Storkea stuff, just kind of looking at the size of the stacks. Astute Noble Edgar. Because, you know, they couldn't call him Edgar. It's Edgar. Got the draw trigger, got the Steam Artist Pithana. I've got a dog that just walked in. Hi, Yona. Another Simone. Good shit. Shadow Leak Magician. Oh, okay. Ooh. Hmm. Don't know if I'd run her specifically for, for having Restrict. But it's an interesting idea. So we're going to put her down. And baby, baby. Got the Elder Breath as the over trigger for this one. Which is fine. Like I said, it's all good. It's overdress. Plus, I'm going to need like 17 of each of the over triggers just in case. Because you never know. You never know how many different ride lines there's going to be. So getting, you know, getting any of them for any of the nations is, is 
good. Plus, like I said, I do want to build Orphus. So having Elder Breath Dragon, uh, or having Elder Breath, very good. All right, we're down to our last three packs. Let's see what we get. So we've pulled our SP. We've pulled our over trigger. We've got four of our double R's or triple R's. I think, what is it? Five triple R's. So we're still due for one. We're still due for one. Got that Velasa Hazard. Oh, Oshikuni. Adapton. So that's the 10K booster for Brant. Nigel for that uh, Eugene. Parasolis. Oop, oop, uh, stay. Uh, it's just a hollow draw trigger. Which means we may end on a triple R. Ooh. Sylvan Beast Horse Algeo. Aglio. Aglio. Okay, okay, okay. And then. Oh, why does it. Why do I keep pulling the draw triggers? I'm not going to be playing draw triggers. Actually, I may play draw triggers in Zorga. So having the hollow lost child of attachment, actually really nice. I like it. And then the rare horn beast. Okay. Oh, did I get a good cut? No, not really, but hold on. There we go. Okay. Just two more packs now. Cardinal Draco. And we got the Grudgeful Hatchet. Ooh, trigger pack. Trigger pack much. Abyss Temptation. Hydraulic Ram Dragon. All right, so that is the starter for Eugene. Mm, baby, got the Proto Bulb. We're guaranteed at least one. I know that. And then, Bulbul Mine. Ooh. Very good. I like it. Put this unit in soul and, uh, what is it? Counter Charge one. I dig it. Get all of your shadow army tokens and you know what that means guys if if i understand correctly and i may not but if i understand correctly our last triple r is in this pack who baby will it be another valiente probably not Oh, I, I don't know. What other triple R's are there? I guess Eugene. I guess I could still pull Eugene. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited. What is that? The 10K boost for... Okay, I keep wanting to put the Dragon Empire stuff in everything but the Dragon Empire stack. All right, Vital Lever. Another Lost Child of Attachment. Guys, oh boy. We got we got two R's in this pack. Drag Ritter Debax. A Cubicia. Oh, I haven't pulled an Orphist yet. I haven't pulled an Orphist yet, so maybe this is an Orphist. Nope. So I did misunderstand. We end on a hollow tribash. Which y'all know how I feel about the hollows. I love it. If I could, I'd get nothing but hollows and skip the rare, uh, the rare slot altogether. But uh, I guess you only get, I guess you get four triple R's per box. For some reason, I thought you got five. Oh well, man, I'm going to. Ugh, oh, I'm going to build everything except Eugene, Seraph Snow, and Hexa Orb. But I'm, every, you know, out of ten. Getting me to want to build 7 out of 10 of your available decks, you know you're doing good there. So, uh, let me know what you guys pulled in the comments, or even let me know if you've made a video of your own so I can watch it. And, um, oh, tell me how you're enjoying Overdress. What are you guys building? <laughs> and as always, stay cheesy.